So how was it for you to be a um, go from being an employee to being an entrepreneur? You know, I feel like my strength in this situation is knowing that there's so much that I don't know. Like when I was an employee, when I would go to work every day, all I wanted to do was be respected for the things that I know. And as a entrepreneur, all I want to do is go out and speak to people and tell them that I don't know, right? So that I can be made better by the things that they know. That is my goal. Just be able to listen and support and and have people improve the things that I create. That's on, on a personal level as the entrepreneur, but you're also the CEO. Yeah. And so there's people that are relying on you for their leadership. So walking into that role, how, how, how's the dynamics been for you? You know, like I shifted when he asked me that question because the question really strikes at home because I spent so many years as a woman professional just wanting to be seen as being good enough. And when I let go of that, I realized that my strength is being authentic and being empathetic. And when I took a step back, I was crowding out the sun because I was trying to always lead and be strong and all this other stuff. And so when I said to the team for both businesses, hey, I want to make space for you to bring your gifts, that's really when I started to see exponential growth. So I have this concept of 80-20. You hire somebody 80% for the things on the resume that you know that they can, that they can do and the 20% that they can bring to the table that you haven't discovered yet. And you cultivate that person and they will take you to places that you never you never knew that you would go. So um, let's talk about going to space. So what what is the program that you're going in, out of space? How did you get involved in that? And um, are you just going up, coming back down? Is there observation that you're going to be doing when you're up? Like what's, what's happening with that situation? So I'm going to be flying to space on the new Shepard vehicle with Blue Origin. We will be coming up and we will be coming back down. And I'm excited about How that. How long will you be out of space? The total trip, so the round trip is roughly, I don't know, less than an hour, and it's about 10 minutes of microgravity. 10 minutes out of space? Yes. So now, 25, like 20 minutes coming up, 10 minutes out of space, and 20 minutes come back down. I think so, and I think we got to fix our hair before we can get out, so there's some time there. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> but look, so I will be the first to tell you that I never thought that I was going to be leaving the Earth's atmosphere. I don't even like turbulence on commercial flights. And so for me, this is a try it before you buy it situation where I get to try space in a controlled scenario. Once I started working at NASA and meeting amazing astronauts, I never thought that I could be them. And this is what I like about life and karma in the world is like right when you think that you can't be something, life will show you that you can and I said to myself many years ago, one of these years, I'm going to apply to be a NASA astronaut. I'm going to go to the International Space Station. And somehow I managed not to do it <laughs> for year after year after year. And all of a sudden, I have the opportunity to be a Blue Origin astronaut. And my goal is to complete this. And if I like it, which I'm probably going to love it, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to apply to be a NASA astronaut. What what's the the preparation like for this? Um, I remember it was maybe it was last year they had mm -hmm. Michael Strahan, and yep. uh, he was going through it. And he had to take some time off from Good Morning America. What what if what do you have to do? What are they putting you through yep. to get you prepared for this moment? So they have a training program in their facility in Van Horn, Texas, that's mandatory. But in addition to that, you can do a host of other things, and so. I'm going to be participating in a microgravity flight. I'm looking to fly on a fighter flight uh, with the jets, like real fast. I like to go fast. I'm looking to do a high altitude skydive. And then in addition to that, for me, this is about bringing it home, right? There are so many people in my family are like, what is NASA doing for me? What's space doing for me? Like, why does any of this matter? And so I've been reaching out to organizations, HBCUs, and high schools so that I can either fly a patch for school or do experiments like I would like to partner with an HBCU and do an experiment on orbit right or fly a sensor I really want the outcome of this to not be oh you know like that's like 10 minutes I want it to be this was something that made me believe or inspired someone to believe that they could reach for the stars and realize that it was only the beginning does, does this to to 
to take this flight, I know it's expensive. So were you chosen? Like, did you have to apply to become one of uh, the Blue Origin astronauts? Or was there a sponsored event? Like, okay, this is the person we're putting forth uh, as our choice. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, I got a call out of the blue from this lady named Nancy, Con Nancy Conrad. And it just so happens that that first day when I was at NASA, when I had a badge and I was excited to be there, I met Nancy. Nancy is the wife of Pete Conrad, who's an Apollo astronaut. I remember seeing her and being like, wow, like one day I hope to speak with her. Fast forward, right over a decade, she's calling me. And she's like, look, there's this mission coming up. I think you'd be a really, really good fit. How about you apply? This time I didn't say no. I put my application forward and it happened to work out that I was in the position to join the crew. Now, back to the money thing. Even if I had it, I don't know if I'd want to spend it. And the reason for that is there's a lot of support for space and for science, right? In a good old African proverb, it's like, if you want to go you know, fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. So I went out to sponsors and I said, look, I want to know if you're going to back me on this flight. And they have. And so I'm getting ready to announce some significant brand partnerships, but we really are going to challenge the way that people look at going to space. And I'm excited to have amazing brands behind me to do it. 